वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू योर फिफ्थ वीडियो फॉर फिजिक्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर लाइट एनर्जी एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट एंड लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो यू कैन सी एन एक्सपेरिमेंट बीइंग परफॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोर्स ऑफ लाइट अ कोम एंड अ गिवन मिरर द गिवन एक्सपेरिमेंट शोज that how the position of the reflected ray changes with the changing position of the incident ray you can see when the incident ray is normal the reflected ray also are normal but as the position of the incident ray changes it becomes angular so the reflected ray also are angular here is a setup for an experiment with a plane mirror and different angles marked over there and you will see that with the different changing angles of incidence you will see how the angle of reflection also changes the diagram here shows an incident ray falling normal on a piece of mirror the angle of incidence is zero the angle of reflection will also be zero that is perpendicular to the mirror so we will study the formation of image of a point to object by a plane mirror we'll make a line this line m m prime shows a piece of mirror and reflecting surface of it to show the reflecting surface we'll make these broken lines this line shows that this side of the mirror is silvered or polished so the opposite side becomes the reflecting surface the image formation will take place on this side so here we'll take any point object say for o i've taken o here and we'll drop two incident rays from here we need minimum two rays for the image formation else there are infinite rays coming out from any point object but to study the image formation we need minimum of two rays So I've taken two rays here. These are the point of incidence. From this point of incidence, I'll drop two normals. Normal means a perpendicular. the other point of incidence will mark the second normal we'll take normal as the broken lines because this is an imaginary line Let it be n one, n two, n three, n four. Now we'll measure the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal, and the second incident ray and the normal. So we'll measure these angles.
so it is 10 and say about 19 degree in kind of incidence is 19 degree the other one can say 10 20 30 and then 35 is 35 degree so by the laws of reflection we know that angle i is equal to angle r it will be again 90 degree which and angle i again i2 will be equal to r2 which is equal to 35 degree so we'll make these di rays the two refracted rays It will be 10 and 19 here the first one the second one I have to take it of 35 degree 10 20 30 and 35 We'll join these lines we have to take it behind the mirror and while taking it behind the mirrors we have to make it dotted so this is your angle of reflection one this is a angle of incidence two so this is your angle of reflection two the rays are coming out they are bouncing back into the same media this is the reflection actually the bouncing back of light into the same medium after it strikes the shining surface and here somewhere will be where the two rays the reflected rays which are taken back where they meet this is where the image formation takes place and here is where the observer's eye is so this is how the image formation takes place of a point object in a plane mirror thank you please practice the diagram of image formation of a point object by a plane mirror